fellow forex traders in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you the best way how to draw support and resistance levels on the forex charts once you learn this technique your analysis of the forex chart is going to be on another level and without further ado let's do this so right here i have a diagram we have three days day one day two and day three you are in day three you are right here this day hasn't happened yet whenever you open your chart you are always on this day three placement you need to look at the day before day two if day two has engulfed the day one then you get a line and you draw a level from the highest point of day one through day two into day three ladies and gentlemen this right here is our daily support level this is the easiest method to draw your support levels and now we are going to a bearish example here is a bearish example of how to draw resistance levels on daily time frames so when the day now opens around this level what you are waiting for to happen because pay attention this day hasn't really materialized yet let me just remove it you are waiting for for the price to open around here go past this resistance level and then once that happens the price is going to drop down once it drops down that's what creates a reaction especially when this level is unmitigated and it's actually a fresh um, resistance level so we are in day three day two the close of day two which is right here has to close so this level right here has to close the low the lowest point of day one then we get our trend line tool and we draw from the lowest point through day two into where we are in day three and that's what is going to generate a daily daily resistance level right there so on the third day once the price reaches this level there's going to be a powerful reaction so this right here this is the day open then the price is going to go to the upside for a retest as the price is going up for a retest it's going to pass this daily resistance level and it's going to react from some sort of a supply zone or an order block within day two within the day two day two has an impulse which actually um, breaks structure causing this resistance levels to happen and then the price is going to react from this level and it's going to go down just like so now i'm going to go into the rule charts and show you how this actually plays out on the forex market stay tuned okay so here we go we have our three days remember we are always in day three yesterday is day two and day two has to engulf above day one day two the close of day two in this scenario closed above the highest points of day one what we do is that we get our line tool and we draw a line from the highest points of day one through day two into day three where we are now what happens is that this is now our daily support level this is our daily support level and when the price opens when the price opens on day three where we are we are waiting for the price to retest this support level it's going to retest some sort of a demand zone within day two because there was an impulsive move that actually broke structure this is another 
um, this is another chat pattern. This is basically break and retest. Okay, but this levels that you were drawing, you drawing it on a daily time frame is actually the easiest way to draw support and resistance. I don't know any easier method to draw support and resistance. Because when you're on smaller time frames, you have to look at swings and swing lows, um, fake outs, trend lines, all of that. But all you need to focus on is simply this. Two candlesticks did yesterday engulf the day before yesterday. If it did, then you just draw your line from this highest point through the day into the day where you are currently trading. That's going to save you so much time and so much effort. Now we're going into a bearish example. Let's do this. So here's a bearish example. Day three is where we are. Yesterday is day two. Yesterday has to engulf below the lowest point of day one because the trend is bearish. So here is day one. We get our line and we draw it through day two into day three where we are. This now becomes our daily resistance level. This daily resistance level is powerful because it is daily. Anything that you do on a daily time frame, and let's say you are a day trader, um, all the levels on daily time frames are powerful because they have a lot of volume. Each candle represents 24 one each candle. Each candle that you're right now seeing on your screens is a daily candle. So whenever we draw these levels, they are powerful. So day three open right here. This was the close of day two and the close of day two closed below the lowest point of day one. This level right here becomes our daily resistance level. So now on day three, what we would be anticipating for is for the price to reach this level of resistance. Um, the price is going to react to some sort of a supply zone order block within the impulsive move in day two and then make its move to the downside because this is how price action works in the forex market. So this is the same price action but we are right now on the 1H time frame. Once again, day one, day two, day three. Depending on when you open your chart, you could have been somewhere here. Okay. So you would have been looking at day two, which is yesterday, right here, has to close below the lowest point of day one. That's exactly what happened. This was the close of day two. So the price did its thing consolidated and then there was a push to the upside this push reacted at the daily resistance level and then we could have placed our orders around this level and sold usd around here and take profit would have been the low from where the move actually started just like so price action 101 nothing complicated but you need to understand what you're looking at when you're looking at the price action here we have three days once again day three is where we are day two was yesterday and day one is the day before yesterday yesterday in this bullish example has to engulf above the highest points of day one once you see that happening you get your line tool on trading view and you draw it from the highest point through day two body into day three very important day two can't just wick above the highest points of day one it has to actually close above the highest points of day one that shows that the market is bullish once you see that happening you are in day three you're waiting for a reaction into this daily support level now we're going into one hour 
time frame. This is it on one hour time frame. Day one, day two, day three. So this is USD CHF. Okay. This was where day two closed. And as you can see, after some sort of a consolidation, there was a pullback towards this support level. And then there was a reaction to the upside. This is market structure 101. If you get this, you are drastically going to improve your trading consistency and your profits are going to start accumulating in your Forex account. It's not complicated, but you need to know what you were looking at on your Forex chart. Daily support level, day one, two, and day three. We are in day three. But how could we have entered this market? Because this is one age time frame. Once the price reaches, once the price reach this daily support level, all we are looking for is a strong bullish engulfing signal. Right there, you can place your stop beside the very low of the candlestick, or um, just a bit lower like this, and just hold it. All you need to do is hold it and as the price is moving upwards just take partial profits just like that keep taking partial profits learn how to hold your trades as the trade is going keep taking partial profits eventually the price is going to reach one of the levels where you place your stop losses and it's going to take you out but that right there is an easy seven percent move seven percent move with this easy strategy um is something that you can be doing on a day-to-day -day basis if you found this useful and valuable like this video subscribe to this channel and check out all the links in my description section and i'll see you guys in the next one peace and blessings take care